Does it take four hours, one hour, 30 minutes? How much should you practice? And how do you even know what to practice when you sit down? I get this question all the time and I'm here to answer it today. And if you'd like to get more videos on how to go from zero to playing your favorite songs in months, not years, I highly recommend hitting the bell and the subscribe button because I post new videos every week. And because learning the piano all by yourself and without any guidance is really hard, I highly recommend booking a call with one of my team members to see if being in my Piano Accelerator program is a good fit for you. This is where I take my students from zero to playing their favorite songs in months, not years. The link to schedule a call is in the description below. All right, how long should you practice the piano every day? First off, it's not all about the clock. Showing up consistently at the piano matters so much more than how long you sit there. Does that make sense? So showing up every day matters a lot more than showing up one day of the week for five hours. It would be more productive for you to show up every day for even just 10 minutes. And the reason for that is because piano is huge into this whole muscle memory thing. Learning piano is all muscle memory. So if you just practiced a couple scales and a little bit of a song every day, you'd make so much more progress than if you practiced five hours on one Sunday. So first off, I want you to get away from the mindset of how long you should practice. Make the goal to actually just show up as much as possible every day or almost every day. The other thing to think about is when you show up to the piano that you need to be productive. You need to have very clear goals because if you sit down at the piano and you have no clear goals and you just kind of play random stuff, then you're not going to make any progress. It really doesn't help to just sit down and play randomly and do all kinds of random stuff and not finish any songs, not finish any scales. What good does that do you? So you need to have goals. So again, get your mind away from how long you should sit there and get your mind focusing on a couple of things. So for example, some of your goals could be that you want to learn the C major scale, the G major scale, and the D major scale. And you wanna learn that scale two octaves at metronome 80 to the quarter note. And then another goal you might have is you would like to play through all the chords in the circle of fifths like I taught in this video. Another thing that you could have as a goal is that you would like to learn the first page of Let It Be, you would like to learn the first page of Piano Man, and you would like to learn the first page of Imagine. So that is what you could think of as your goal for a week or two. You have a very narrow focus. You know exactly what you're working on when you sit down. Use a journal to keep track of your progress. Take notes, write down your goals, put it on the wall, all kinds of stuff. Set goals. All right, now I know that you're asking me, but Caitlin, seriously, how long do I sit down at the piano to practice? Okay, if you want a more straightforward answer, but remember to focus on being productive and showing up consistently. Another answer to that would be show up between 10 minutes and an hour every day or as much as possible. If you're more intermediate or advanced, then you would obviously need to sit down and play longer amounts of time. But beginners, which most of you are probably beginners, just show up 10 minutes to an hour, 30 minutes a day, that's enough. Before I get to what exactly you should practice when you sit down at the piano, let me know in the comments, how long do you practice the piano every week or every day? Let me know. All right, we went over it a little bit, but to make it very, very clear on what you should practice when you sit down at the piano, again, focus on a couple of scales, a couple of warm ups, and then one to three songs at a time. Work through those songs in small chunks. So for example, like I said earlier, maybe this week you work on the first page of Piano Man and the first page of Imagine, and you work on three scales and three different chord progressions, things like that. A couple warm-ups, a couple of songs, narrow in on some goals that you think are achievable. And if you would like some help on getting started on this, and knowing how to set goals for the piano, I do have a lovely piano practice planner that you can download for free. The link is in the description below. Before we go, remember, it's not about the minutes, it is about being productive and showing up as much as you can every day. 
But truthfully, if you do not have a teacher or a roadmap, it's really hard to know exactly what to practice from where you are. So I highly recommend clicking on the link below and booking a call with one of my team members to see if the Piano Accelerator program is a good fit for you. The link is in the description below. And before you head out, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell because I post new videos every week and I will see you next time.